Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kitty Zoom by VTech. So, you probably see the title and say, Is my daughter's camera better than mine? And the quick answer, no, it's not. Don't worry about it. Sorry about the clickbait, if that's the way you feel. But there are actually certain things about this camera that it is better than mine. That doesn't mean that it's a better camera, all in all, but I'm gonna talk about it. Um, basically, this is gonna be a review about this camera in particular, not this one. It's not gonna be a full-on comparison because, yeah, it's not, not really a comparative kind of cameras. So, basically, this camera uh, and the way I'm reviewing this camera because I usually review like serious photography gear, like professional lenses and cameras and um, stabilizers. The reason I'm doing that is because probably if you are like me and you have kids, you're probably gonna like your kids to also take pictures or maybe your kids see you all the time with a camera and they will maybe like to touch your camera and take pictures same as Papa. They wanna follow what Papa do and that's what I think. This is a great camera for your kids so they don't play with this one which is a lot more expensive. So I know that most of the, my viewers maybe don't have kids, don't understand what I'm talking about, but one day you will have kids and this is a great gift for any kid. Uh, my daughter loves it. Um, basically what this is, it is a camera that shoots a two megapixel, so that's kind of crappy, yeah, it's not that good. We have another secondary camera here that shoot VGA pictures, but like I said, there are some scenes on this camera I having two cameras, a selfie camera. Mine doesn't have a selfie camera. Ah. Another thing that this camera have that is excellent that I like about it is that you have a dual grip, no choking. The grips, first, they're phenomenal. They're rubberized and they feel very good. Even for my big hands, this is supposed to be for kids, but the grips are really good. It's like my hands literally fall naturally inside the grip. And you have a dual grip, which means when I'm tired of holding it with the right hand, I just hold it with the left hand. Now look at my camera. Even so I have a battery grip, which means it's, you know, it's a big grip. If I get tired of holding it with my left hand and I need to pass it to my left hand, I need to hold it from the lens. Or I need to hold it this other awkward way. So having a dual grip is kind of fun. I mean, I've been taking pictures with this little camera when I go out with my daughter and it's kind of fun to have a dual grip. Another thing that I like about this, and I'm not joking, I wish this could be on my camera and that's a dual optical viewfinder. And the reason I like this is because I'm left-handed and my predominant eye is my left eye, which means when I use this camera, I'm just smashing my face on the screen and making it dirty. You can see it right here. The screen already got dirty. That's because I don't like to use my right eye. So cameras are being designed for right-handed people. Predominant eye is the, the right eye. My problem is the left, which means it's uncomfortable. In this camera, look at that. I have a left eye viewfinder or a right, right eye viewfinder. Interesting. Another feature that is incredible that this camera doesn't have since it's considered a professional camera is that it doesn't have a joystick like the 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, and this one have it. They have a joystick, so like the professional cameras a multi-directional joystick. Interesting, this camera doesn't have it. Another feature that it have, that some of the compact, high-end compact camera have, it, it is a ring to change uh, different settings. In this case, it's changing, um, uh, what is it, the, the filters, like the Instagram filters, you can change filters. Well, this is a zoom lens, so, but I think, to be honest, they could put a ring here and we can adapt it to, I don't know, ISO or changing the shutter. It could be nice to have an extra ring. Why not? Why not, people? Open your mind. Get creative. Why not we have an extra ring in there? Another thing that this camera have, this one doesn't, it is a dedicated zoom wheel. And it have a spring, which means it's, it's, you can do it slowly or faster. It's pretty useful. Uh, I know that these cameras, they have the, the zoom here, but consider that Sony cameras have something called clear image zoom, which is a digital kind of zoom. Well, they could have that scene here. I like to use the clear image zoom in some occasions when I really 
short on my reach and don't have a, I don't want to change to a telephoto lens. So that's interesting. Another thing that this camera have um, that kind of reminds me of the old camera is that you run out of battery, you buy a couple of batteries in any store that's there and it takes double A batteries. Um, I know it's funny that I'm comparing this little camera, this toy camera with a professional camera, but basically while reviewing this, basically I'm comparing with this camera, it's just for fun. Uh, as, as I say, most of my viewers are people who know photography, so I'm talking from a photography bonus view for a toy, actually. This is a toy, so don't worry about it. Another thing about this camera is that it's shockproof. No, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, no, no, I'm not doing it. So, you know, because it's made for kids, it can take a lot of heat, you know? It's not gonna break. At least it's not gonna break easy. Um, another thing this camera have is that uh, it's somehow water resistant. I don't think it's really going to be water resistant. This camera also have it to some degree. Uh, you can see the ports are covered with rubber. Another thing that this camera have obviously is killer looks. I mean, look at that. Imagine walking into a bar with a camera like this. Say, yo, what's up guys? Look at my camera, huh? huh? No? Uh, probably not. <laughs> But anyway, my daughter love it, so yeah, funky kind of camera, funky design for little kids, for little girl, um, kind of funny. Another thing that it have is games. You get a few games, the really, you, you're gonna get boring of these games like in five minutes, was me especially. My daughter will get boring like maybe in a couple of hours because they're not really good games. She have an iPad, she play on her iPad. Another thing you can get, um, it records video, you can take pictures, everything on terrible, horrible quality. It's like two megapixel pictures, the video is like a VGA, so it's very bad video. But it have a lot of um, uh, features in which you can take a picture with, a, I don't know, with the body of a monkey or with a big cake. So it gets creative and kids, kids play with that. My daughter play with that all the time. So there you have it, this is the Kitty Zoom by Vitek, it is a fun camera, it's nearly a hundred dollars, it's somewhere around 80, 90 dollars, that's what I pay for it. Um, it has a flash also, I forgot to mention. Um, yeah, it's a great toy for your kids and your kids will start taking pictures, they will leave you alone, they won't touch your camera anymore because they like their camera be better, they think their camera is better than yours, that's for sure. So, you know, as a photography point of view, this is my review on the Kitty Zoom VTEC. Hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Comment, like, share, and subscribe.